All right, let's get started. Welcome everyone to Dislikes of Things Everyone Likes Loves, also known as Do Tell. I'd like to start the meeting off by asking if we have any new faces here that would like to share about their extreme dislike. Do Tell. Hi, my name is Katie. Hi, Katie. And I'm an extreme disliker of superheroes. Monster. Ziggy. Remember, this is a safe environment. Even if you don't understand someone's dislike, we're here to support each other. Please, Katie, continue. Tell us more about your dislike of superheroes. I don't know. I mean, I guess they're a little annoying, and the storylines are kind of overdone. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love a good hero story. I mean, who doesn't, right? Who doesn't? But, for example, the costumes, the bright colors, you're supposed to be all stealthy, you know, sneaking up on the bad guy. And you're going to wear those bright colors? I mean, wearing bright yellow, you look like my assistant principal wearing the banana costume during health week in middle school. It's just ridiculous. And the masks, if you can call them masks, I mean, we're going to cover the one part of the body that you think you probably need if you're going to be flying around your eyes, like, hello, visibility. Actually, they don't really cover the eyes. They cover the skin around the eyes. What is that? That's pointless. I mean, disguise, no disguise. You don't know me. Hey, it's Katie. That is just absurd. Oh, and the tights. Don't even get me started on the tights. I mean, I've worn tights. I don't wear tights. I'm not wearing tights, but I've worn them like when I was a kid. And they're really constricting. Seems to me, if you're a superhero who's like flying around, saving the day, cape blowing in the wind, you're gonna want something that's a little more comfortable, you know, with more give. Like, I don't know, shorts or even yoga pants. Devil. Ziggy, supportive. Katie, so tell us what brought you here. Why did you decide to come to us for support? Well, because of my daughter. She's six Aww. and she, she's autistic. She doesn't have a lot of words. She's learning, but she really loves superheroes. And she does this thing where she uses like words and phrases that she sees in books and shows to communicate in real life. And I really want to get on board with that. But I mean, the superhero stuff all the time, it's hard. <laughs> Well, you know, that's a really good reason to want to overcome your dislike. Your little girl sounds really fun. <laughs> yeah. So let me put this out to the group. Do any of you have any suggestions or strategies that have helped you in overcoming your extreme dislike that you want to share with Katie? Yes, Ariel, do tell. So when I realized I had an extreme dislike for ice cream trucks, I decided to go all in and fully embrace all things ice cream. So I chased down the ice cream man. It took a little while because normally when I see him, I have a bucket full of water balloons and he speeds away. I finally cornered him and I convinced him to take me on a ride along. I was on that truck for like the whole week. I got to hand out ice cream to all these smiling children. They looked up at me like I was their hero. And I even got to drive the truck. You're so high up there. I felt so powerful. It's so much higher than my 2020 Periwinkle Blue Energy Efficient Smart Car. And the absolute best part, I got to eat all the ice cream I wanted. So maybe you could do that. You want me to go on a ride along with superheroes. Superheroes don't exist. Ziggy, no. Look, Katie, you don't have to love superheroes to support your daughter. We don't have to experience or love things ourselves to support those that do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. You know, I'm really glad that I came here today. It's nice to know that I'm a good mother, even if I do think superheroes are overrated. <laughs> That's it? This is supposed to be a safe place. I'm out of here.